Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to be making a snakeskin DNA V pattern. Start by centering your shirt using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. And how I do that is I use my washable marker and I make marks in my center of my shirt on the top and the bottom, put the sleeve inside the other sleeve, find those marks, give it a pinch, shake it, smooth it, work it till all your seams line up and it's nice and smooth. Now this is the foundation for all of your tie dye. You have to get a good center in order for the pattern to turn out right. It's time to create the V and you want to measure from the neck to the sleeve and it spaces out about every four inches and then make a dot down at the bottom and draw a line and then from here you want the distance between the two lines to be four inches all the way up. Fold along these lines, keeping them as straight as possible. Now that the shirt is all pleated up, it's time to secure it. I'm going to use rubber bands. I like rubber bands, but you could use kite string if you choose to. Continue working on your pleats until the entire shirt is secure.
I set this shirt aside and it dried for, I don't know, maybe like a couple of weeks and it was so bone dry. And with my other videos, which you may have noticed, I've been having a lot of trouble getting the dye uh, to penetrate and my saturation hasn't been very great. So I decided to use some soda ash in a spray bottle and I give it a mist before adding the dye. And it really did help quite a bit. This shirt is a DNA offset, so what you want to do is move every color over one spot. So as you can see, the saturation is horrible. You see all that white in there? I don't want that much white. So I'm pinching it, hoping to you know, squeeze some of that dye down into the folds. And then I'm going to just continue to add more dye, hoping to get much better saturation. the shirt sit for 10-15 minutes and flipped it over and I'm checking and it still is not saturated so I'm gonna just keep adding more dye until I feel like I get the saturation where I want it to be
So I've reached the point where I feel like I have the proper saturation that I need and all of my bins are full with other projects. So I'm going to batch using the plastic bag method and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't typically do it this way, but you have to do what you have to do. And from here it needs to sit for at least 24 hours before the rinse out. So now that it's done batching, it's time for the rinse out. And as always, I start by using cold water. That stops any soda ash that still might be reacting within the shirt and gradually increase the water up to hot. And I rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, it's going to go into the washing machine. I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma. I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, which brings softness back into the fabric. And then I'm going to put it in the dryer and we'll see our results. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried, and it reminds me of a snakeskin pattern. There's some oversaturation in some of the areas in the center, and the better black threw out pink. So I don't know, I haven't really had liquid dye do that before, but maybe it's because I sprayed it with the soda ash. I'd be a lot happier if the pink wasn't there. But overall, I like the pattern. I like the DNA effect. I think it's all right. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and it's really important that you click that bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.